welcome to RC Video Reviews. In this OpenTX snippet, I'll show you how to use subtrim and what the difference is between subtrim and regular trim. Before we get started with the demo, I've got an S6R receiver paired to my RadioMaster TX16S, and I'm using the aileron channel for the demonstration. So you can see I move my aileron stick, and that moves my servo with the markings here on the paper. I think everybody's aware of the concept of trim. If you're out flying the plane and it's not flying straight and level, you use trim switches to make minor little adjustments to your control surfaces. And you can see I've got the trim all the way moved over to the right. And you can see right here with trim, when I do that, what happens to my little indicator. So I put a little mark on the paper showing what happens to the indicator when the trim is moved all the way over to the right. Now let's watch what happens with the range of motion after I've trimmed all the way to the right. You can see as I move the stick left, we lose this amount of space right here between these two outputs. And then when I move the stick right, we don't lose any space. The important thing to take away from this is we've reduced the overall travel of the servo. So here's our new center, here's our travel to the right, and here's our travel to the left. Notice our entire curve shifted to the right. You can also see on my aileron trim right there that I've got the trim all the way over to the right. Now, you can actually take that trim and copy it to your subtrims in OpenTX by going to your output tabs and scrolling left and you'll see an option at the bottom, trims to subtrims. Now before I do that, I want to make note that the aileron subtrim right now is zero. So that field right there says zero, zero. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy my trims to subtrims and we'll see what happens when I do that. So trims to subtrims, now I'll hit escape and you can see that the aileron subtrim is now 24.2. And if we go back to the main screen, you can see that my trim is returned to center. So that allows me to continue trimming. In fact, we'll go ahead and do that now. I'll put in more right trim. And you can see the new indicator position is now even further to the right. So we have here and there. And travel to this side remains the same. It still terminates at the same spot. Okay, that's, sub, that's trims to subtrims. I'm gonna reset everything now and we're gonna cover just subtrims. All right, I've reset the aileron subtrims back to zero and I've reset the main trims back to zero, and our indicator is right back on that zero position. Now I'm gonna move the stick to the right and left, and you can see we've got full deflection as it was when we started. Now what we're gonna do is go into the subtrims menu by hitting model, and then page right to outputs, and I'm simply gonna go into the aileron subtrim, and I'm just gonna add some subtrim, just gonna dial in any number. Let me move the radio out of the way so it doesn't hit my little indicator, okay. I've sent in a value of 50 on the subtrim. So let's take a look and see how that manifests itself. Here's our new subtrim center. I'm gonna mark this one up high. So that's our new subtrim center. Now when I move my stick to the right, look at that, it goes all the way to the original starting point. And when I move my stick to the left, it goes all the way to the original starting point. So notice what happens in subtrim is that all you're modifying is the center. You're not modifying the overall travel. The way that manifests itself in flight now is that while the servo is recentered where I want it, this range of deflection is actually going to be quite small. So we only go from there to here and that's it. This range of deflection on this side of the stick is actually quite large now. The effect in flight then is going to be something more akin to what we call differential where one deflection direction moves much more than the other. So in this case, going from center to this side is a much greater range of travel than going from center to this side. All right, before we wrap that up, I wanna show you one more thing just so you can see the numbers themselves. So here's my 51 points of subtrim in the model and look at the outputs. So it's got 1763 as my center, but watch what happens when I deflect all the way to the right. You see, I still hit 2012 and when I hit all the way to the left, I still hit 988. All right, let's reset this back to zero. Whoops. There we go. There's zero. Now I've got 1501 as the center, 2012 as the far right deflection, and 988 as the far left deflection. When I modify the trim, watch what happens. I'm going to trim all the way to the left. Okay, so there's minimum trim reach, and you can see the center is now 1377. And on this side, I still have 988, but watch what happens on the right no longer go to 2012, we lost travel on the right. And that's reflected in this diagram on the page. 
So there you go. Now you know the difference between trim and sub trim, and you can make decisions about how you use these on your own. Just remember when you copy your trims to sub trims, your servo center stays in the same spot, but you're changing the amount of deflection from zero to 100% and zero to negative 100%. They're not going to be the same when you use sub trims. All right. I hope you enjoyed this open TX snippet. If you did, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. So you know, a new material hits the channel. That's all I've got for today. Take it easy. Hey, if you like the work I do here on RC Video Reviews, please consider joining me on Patreon. For about the price of a cup of coffee, you can help me keep making videos just like this one. If you'd like to help out, there's a link in the description and on your screen.